On the Health Watch this afternoon, what if you could help diagnose your child's ear infection in the comfort of your own home? Researchers at the University of Washington have developed a smartphone app that could do that. Dr. Malika is here now. And how in the world does this work? Because people would be lined up for it. Right? I mean, it's really cool. Okay, so first of all, ear infections usually start off with the buildup of fluid behind the eardrum, okay. which can become contaminated with bacteria and can cause pain, sometimes fever. Sometimes it just sits there and it doesn't become contaminated, it doesn't cause any symptoms, but it can decrease hearing and in young kids it can affect their acquisition of language. Okay. So researchers created the smartphone app which can detect fluid behind the eardrum by sending a series of chirps through a small paper funnel into the ear. Now the wow. chirps reflected back to the phone are different depending on whether there's fluid there or not. So that's how they can determine whether it's there. And wow. in a study where they looked at 98 kids' ears, the app was about 85% effective at identifying the fluid. That's pretty good. So, so the hope is that families can use this at home to actually decide whether there's fluid present or not and make the decision as to whether they need their child's seat. Yeah, obviously, you follow up with the doctor, but I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's cool. 85%. All right. Well, here's another example of cutting-edge technology. Researchers at the University of British Columbia have have developed a device that can perform surgery without cutting the skin. You're going to have to explain this. How do you do surgery without cutting? It's tech time with Dr. Yes. Malika today. Okay, so this is a specialized microscope that uses an infrared laser beam to quickly scan tissue looking for abnorm abnormal lesions or abner ab other abnormalities. And once they find it, the surgeons can intensify the heat on the laser beam to actually treat the area without cutting through the skin wow. and without destroying surrounding tissue. So they hope that one day this could be used to treat areas that need sort of precise treatment that you don't want to cut the skin things like nerves and vessels in the huh. brain and other organs could also be used to treat possibly cancerous skin lesions as well it feels like we're entering like a whole right? new universe where things are just changing it's by 2019 the day, right? my friend is it really yeah are you sure I'm positive right. dr. Malka thank you so much great information Lisa over to you wow, that is